Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, we're back in the Roland 389, although we got a 379 set up here today, and we got the N14 in it as well from Z Mods. I'll let you uh, hear it. It's a very smooth sounding engine. Very nice. We are in Provo picking up, I believe, a reservoir tank we're going to be taking out. Uh, I'm not really sure where we're taking this to just yet, but we're about to find out here. Let's get uh, on the road, shall we? There we go. Big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring the America Truck Simulator series and the awesome T818 is what I'm using here today that you're seeing the direct drive wheel and it's uh, a fantastic piece of kit, I must say. The more I have used it, the more I have fallen in love with it. And uh, once I get to where I'm going here, I'm going to look and see about uh, getting more degrees of rotation. A lot of people want me to drive with more than 900. Uh, to me, it really doesn't matter, but uh, we can do it. No problem. The game does support it now. Although, I am still on the uh, 146. I'm not on 147. I couldn't be driving this truck. Well, that's not true. I could. I would just have to go through and, and update everything, and I just haven't done that yet, you know? But we'll get there eventually. How was everybody's weekend? Did you have a good one? Hopefully you did. I had birthday celebrations uh, with Dave and uh, and our other friend. And we had a good time. Had a good one. Went out and about. Went to Top Golf. You know, that's like a, the new thing I've been talking about. I've been enjoying a lot. And I played terrible. I can tell you that. It was not good. We just swing for this one, don't we? Yeah, we do. Don't want to hurt my precious trailer here. And we're picking up here on the left at Lennar. I don't know why we're picking up at Lennar, but that's okay. We're going to kind of hug the middle of this line here because it's a little tight getting in this building. I haven't been, haven't been to this prefab in a minute. All right. And, of course, we'll be sticking out in the middle of the road when we talk to the foreman, but that's okay. Let's quickly do that, shall we? Yeah, we shall. And here you go. The foreman's saying, hurry up. Let's get it out of the road. But uh, we got our reservoir tank here, 22,500 pounds from Provo down to Montrose. All right, let's push our brake in here and get off the road. And where is this thing at? Is over there on the left? That might be. Yeah, we're picking up right here. So this is a pretty easy back for the most part. We'll see. Sometimes I say that and it becomes a lot more difficult than you think. Although this one, we're just going to kind of snake it around, you know, it'll be just fine. And then we will try to get uh, 1080 on the steering if we can. I think I have to do that through Microsoft 2, though, or through the USB game controller. So maybe I won't do it today. Having a look on the outside here, you can see how awesome this truck looks like. I, I really do love the old classic... Uh, you know, with the single headlight on it. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's back this thing in. All right, on back we go. Let's just go ahead and cut it 90 degrees here. And then we might be in a good spot, but there's a lot of stuff up here on the right. Might mess us up. I'm pretty good there, but I mean, I don't know if I'm able to get the nose to come all the way around. Not with this concrete over here. Eh, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be close. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. We, actually, you know what? I'll just go up here where those porta potties are. We'll straighten it out. How about that? It's tight with this uh, particular setup of this long of a truck. It's got the long wheelbase on it, so. There we go. A little bit better where we want it on the line. Kind of come back with it now. It's green. You know what? We're gonna take it though. Oh, nope. Let's go up and then bring the trailer to the left. I mean, it's doable. They might take it this way. Let's see. Will you take it if I go straight here? Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. It's right on the line, and they don't like that. Oh, no. They're happy with it. Okay, cool. Because I'm not going to mess around with it too much. It's a pickup, you know? <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and shut down, and let's see what we got. So they're loading the cargo. It is now 10 in the morning here, and a beautiful day. We've got that whole thing on there. It's an oversized load. Uh, is what I had it set up for, but it doesn't look that bad, honestly. 
Yeah, that's a pitiful looking tank, dude. I was expecting something much bigger than this. <laughs> that's why I spent all the time doing the oversized load stuff, but... Okay, whatever you say. I'm just continuing my pre-trip here before we get going, and the, uh, the tandems are where I want them. We got the uh, lights are all working fine. I'm double-checking those air hoses, making sure that they're all good to go for the trip, and they are. And we're locked in the fifth wheel. That's what we want to see. And coming around to the front, we can see all our watermelon lights up there on the top are all working fine. Blinkers are working. Everything's good to go. All right, pre-trip is complete. We're going to fire it up. And we're getting on out of here. Push the brakes in, wait for the sound to go away. It's good there. We'll get our four ways back on. Let everybody around us know that we're moving. And it's going to be kind of a little bit of a three-point turn here, but that's okay. It is tight. Getting out of here. But, yeah, good to uh, be back in the 389 once again. This is the rolling mod. It is expensive to get into this mod and uh, the Facebook group. Like I said, it's uh, $116 or $106 or something. Oh, just a little bit over a hundred dollars um, for the mod and everything else. I'm right, making it right here. Also, great news I have for y'all today. We're using uh, Sips Traffic Mod again, and there's a reason for that. I have to clear that. I know it looks a little aggressive, but uh, you're, it's a little tighter than you think getting out of there. And that is, um, I've fixed most of my issues with the skipping. So we might see it here and there, but nothing like it was before. And it turned out to be a V-Sync issue I was dealing with. And I'll explain a little bit about that. There's like no traffic around here. I love it. That won't be the case later, but it is for, for now. Let's get the four ways off. Oh, wait, no. I already had gotten my four ways off. I need to kill the uh, blinker. Jeez, that blinker wouldn't shut off on its own. We do have a good sounding JK in this thing. Let's turn it on so you can listen to it. That's the low setting. I have it on. Then if we go to high, man, this thing gets loud. secondaries and then back to low pretty good sound and engine it's got the it's called the Pittsburgh power it's 800 horsepower it's beautiful but yeah got rid of that problem that's all that matters I'm gonna get a screenshot actually and then we'll be on our way all right we are back in action Got my little screenshot there, and it was wonderful. Making a left turn up here. I don't normally rub it that high, but I wanted you to hear the awesome sound of this engine, because it is a good one, that is for certain. Left turn out of here, here comes the uh, train. Right off our nose there. Are you letting me out or no? They slowed down there. They're going to let me out. And they were like, nope, not anymore. Don't worry about it. You weren't paying it. Oh, here we go. They're going to let me out. You're going to let me out. Oh, thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Yeah, there's the train there. They're going to regret letting me out and be slower than them. But they would have been, you know. All those gears up this hill. Just floating the gears. That's what I love about the Z mod sound sets is that you uh, can easily float them without getting any of those grind sounds by being off by, you know, an RPM or two. They don't punish you too bad for it. Got a lot of tar snakes on the ground. Look at all them tar snakes. keep it between the lines here all right now we can get over and all those kind people can go around us there we go let's roll our windows up here not expecting any rain on this trip today 
And we're good on fuel. We got three quarters of a tank. Uh, not enough time to get around us, buddy. Tried without losing too much speed. Actually, you know what? These engines do not like to be creeping down there that low. So we keep it in eight low for right now as we go down this hill here. Soldier Summit. Here we go. Get to use that Jake break on down the hill. Oh yeah, that sounded good. Let's bring it up into the second one. We need a little bit more power than that sometimes. We got all of the wonderful sounding, uh, actually, you know what? We're gonna jump up into seven high here. Actually, seven low around this corner here. I can't remember if this is the road that takes us through the tunnels and the rocks and all that stuff. It's been a little bit since I've been in Utah. Oh no, do we have to stop up here? We might have to stop. We just might have to stop. Yeah, it's like a waterfall or something happening over there. Very cool. Let's see. Nope, we got the green light, baby. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. And you know, we don't need our lights on today all the way. There we go. We have the, you know, the beacon on that's, well, you know what? No, we'll leave the lights on. We're supposed to have them on. Okay, business to 55, 100 north, one mile. I can't remember how they have us get out of here. We're going into Colorado. We're gonna be getting, we're gonna be pretty much doing two lane roads. Right, th next three exits. Now I know it, uh, it doesn't seem like we have a lot of traffic on. Well, it goes off of the time of day and all that stuff to factor it all in. That's how SIPS traffic mod works. But you'll see plenty of cars on the road on the highways. Sometimes it could be a lot. All those little beehives. They're like those uh, places where they keep all the salt and all that stuff for the Department of Transportation. what it looks like anyway. South towards uh, Carbon Ave. But yeah, it's coming up here very soon, y'all, on uh, at the end of June, a weekend of the 26th Flight Sim Expo in Houston, Texas. So if you're thinking about, you know, going there, and I get a lot of people ask me all the time, hey, Jeff, where can I meet you or whatever? That's the place to do it, man. And Ryan's going to be there as well. It's going to be a good time. So if you, we're on the fence about it, maybe that'll be the, the saving grace. But it's supposed to be a big expo, too. I know Microsoft's going to be there this time around. It's their first time at expo, and that's a big deal for the uh, flight sim community. I believe it's 60 through here. It's Amazon. We're not going there today. We are not. We're headed towards Moab. This turn is a little tighter than you think it's going to be. Jeez Louise, dude. Something came out of nowhere. Ashley Furniture. Yeah, this is where the road gets beautiful, right through here. Gotta watch our speed though. Don't wanna get a speeding ticket through here. It'd be very easy to do in a 65. That's more than enough. More than enough right there. Okay, let's 
get to some, uh, well, this is the Price River right up here. Getting back to some uh, two-lane highway driving. Been on the interstates the last couple times. I did a couple uh, live streams with America Truck Sim as well on my uh, twitch.tv slash jfaviano channel. Been having a lot of good uh, trucking over there. If that's, uh, you know, the thing you like, we do it once in a while. But uh, ever since I got my my lags, you know, fixed, uh, it's been great. So basically what I had to do, I didn't know this, but um, so my monitor is, you know, it's a, it's a 48 inch monitor, but it's like 120 hertz. Um, maybe it's 144, I can't remember. I've got so many different monitors with different <laughs> refresh rates anymore. Um, but that was the issue. Apparently, American Truck Sim does not like anything over 60 frames as it currently stands. So that's the reason why it was getting those uh, those big, huge, like they were like lag spikes, but they were like stutters. It was uh, very infuriating to figure that out. So I had to do that. And then I also went in NVIDIA control panel and made sure that the um, it's, it's locked to 60 frames, basically. And it helped out a lot. See what I'm talking about on SIPS traffic mod? What I love about it is that you're gonna see a ton of cars on the highway. But when we're on that two lane road in the middle of the, middle of the day, we're not seeing that many cars. It's pretty cool. I do like it. Oh yeah, baby, that Pittsburgh power. And last time I forgot to add the CB into the truck, so now I got a CB in here. Is that a, sh a Ford? Uh, is that the old Fiesta? I think that's the old Fiesta, right? Or is that? Yeah, that is. You don't see very many of those on the road. And that's the Kia. No, yeah, right? I can never remember that new, uh, or is that Hyundai? With the new, the new Kia logo looks like Hyundai now. <laughs> kind of. That's not Kia, that's definitely Hyundai. Love that helicopter sound and Jake. It's very obnoxious, I know. But that's what makes it so great. Around this corner we go. Also, we'll get a little bit of uh, interstate driving in as well. Which is fine by me. Not a problem at all, man. Got the truck all nice and shiny this weekend. It was uh, look, looking good. We got a local uh, car wash place, but you can uh, you know get unlimited if you just do a membership there, uh, and it reads your plate, and then you go in. So the bird uh, the bird crap on the truck needed some help getting off, and it took about three to four of the washes for it to finally go away but it is gone now jeez you are going slow dude what is this about i'd get over and pass this guy but we might have to stop at a nope maybe not we're almost to colorado state line right here no yeah there is a way station up here that's why i didn't want to get over right away but i don't know what he was doing Welcome to colorful Colorado. Yeah, the port of entry. Will we get lucky today or will we have to pull in? We're about to find out, aren't we? Let's see what they tell us. We got another green. Look at that. That is amazing. I'm getting really lucky with that lately. What is going on over there? That dude in that 
bus is trying to cause a crash and stupid Coca-Cola can't figure it out. Holy moly. So I was looking before I uh, was recording today for one of this little journey here. Uh, you know, I've been waiting and waiting for a good car hauler. Uh, and apparently Blades Mod Shop is coming out with a car hauler, the CX-11 or whatever it is. It's basically a... Okay, this guy is so inconsistent with his speed. He's driving me nuts. He, like, speeds up, then he slows way down. Speeds up, slows way down. Again, part of the uh, SIPS traffic mod. It's, it's a realistic experience, but it's not always the best, you know? Who's the loves here? You know what? We're going to stop in at this loves. And we're going to uh, fuel up. I know I don't need fuel, but I would like to just uh, experience a, tra you know, a truck stop with y'all. We don't normally stop at the truck stops because I'm usually really prepared for the uh, the trip, you know? All right, we got a roundabout here. I like it. We'll do it here. I'm just gonna leave my blinker on since we're getting the first exit here. We're all good there. I love how the GPS still hasn't figured out when you're stopping for fuel. It's like, you're an idiot, finding a new route. All right, we can just keep the blinker on since we're gonna be going straight in here. Oh, this is a cool, uh, I've not been to this one yet. All right, so never the first one, it's the second one. Auto's first and then we have our truck parking here. Right here. Finding a new route. Although it seems to me like the fuel islands are backwards sometimes. I don't think fuel island is you pull in and you go straight. Sometimes, but usually you go around the whole thing, you know what I mean? Oh, and of course, the one I'm choosing doesn't have fuel available for it. The one spot, no fuel. So to get all the way over to the left. That's good right there. But of course, it's about how she goes. Yep, had to do this. Had to jump up on the uh, the old curb there. All right, this will be good here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and fill it up. Okay, diesel price is five fifteen a gallon. Let's see how many gallons this thing's gonna take, even though we were at three quarters. We also need to do some uh, maintenance on the truck. If they have that available to us, we will do it. Uh, okay, cool. It took uh, 116 gallons, $602 we just spent. Check it out, they got Trucker Cola, a 24 pack for $19.99, and Cornwell's Beef Stew for $210. That concoction right there sounds absolutely terrible. And if you are, uh, you know, having a bit of a sweet tooth, you can get the three flavors infinite enjoyment. What does that even mean? And remember, warm breakfast awaits you. All right, let's get out of here. All right, you know, another thing we're gonna do today that we don't normally do is going to be weighing ourselves at the cat scale. We don't normally have to do it, but we're gonna do it today. It's filled up. Man, they really fly through here, don't they? These four-wheelers. Got to watch for them. Here's another one coming. You watch. Yep, this one right here. Y'all are nuts how fast you fly through this spot. All right, yeah, that's what we're going to go right there. Now, weirdly, on these uh, scales, they do not have the little thing that you would pull up to. It's just, you know, you pull on the platform and then you get weighed. And I don't think that we have any, uh, well, we do have a shop right down the road on the right. I think we're going to hit them up. Oh, of course, they give you no room to get on the scale. <laughs> What's the point? What is, how are we supposed to get on this scale? Unbelievable, dude. 
no way we can get on that scale. Well, if we teardrop this around, we will. That's what we're going to do. I said we're going to do it, and we're going to do it, okay? I know it's stupid, and we don't have to do it, but I want to do it. And they're not taking that away from us today. Got to watch out for those four-wheelers on the right, though. They're going crazy. Going absolute ham today in here. All right, yeah, we'll be fine this time. I just wanted to show you how the scales work in the game, and they're, they're testing our patience with it, that's for certain. All right, up on, here we go. All right. The trailer going to make it on there? Okay, jeez, it's just such a tight spot. It's barely going to make it on there. I mean, they don't even give you enough room to do it. Let's pull it up just a hair further. Thank you, camera view, for doing that. That's always nice when it just randomly moves on you. All right, yep, about right. Let's get the actual trailer up there. There we go. All right, cool. Let's see, $10, 58,417, cool. Now, one thing that we need in the game, and we still don't have it yet, is the ability to move those tandems, you know, so we could actually uh, distribute the weight differently on the drive axles and whatnot. They still don't have that in the game, and I would really love it if they did. Okay, get rid of all that stuff. Let's head over to the shop, see how much that's going to cost us after old Red comes around the corner here. Come on, old Red, we're waiting for you. Here you are. Crank this sucker all the way over. Dude. Just look at this. No way. Absolute disaster to maneuver in this truck stop. And it feels to me like the scale on the truck stop itself is off. This is just nuts. Getting out of here. It's the worst spot they could have ever put that scale, honestly. Makes no sense to me. All right, let's see if it's down here on the right side and they have parking available. But yeah, I keep seeing those wheels and if we get stopped, they're not gonna be happy with us. We have to pull into one of those way stations. Getting out of here is going to be a lot of fun, too, with the roundabouts. Oh, it's a Volvo dealership. Well, that's cool. We'll get the dealership unlocked, too, while we're at it. And these Volvo dealerships are hard to get in and out of as well. Everything's so cramped. Yep, on up here we go. Go talk to the mechanics, see what they have to say about our how terrible our stuff is. Uh, right up here. Okay, well, this one's not so bad. There's some room to maneuver in and out of. So we'll do that. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see the damage. And we have $200 in damage we need to uh, work on. Mainly the wheels take the, the brunt of it all, and uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Perfect though. But yeah, if you're wondering, right there on the left hand side, 800 horsepower engine right there. Uh, that's the whole uh, spec sheet we got for our truck today. All right, time to get out of here. Let's do it. We messed around way too much here at this little place for no reason. And now, now we gotta get out of here. Pulling it around. It's just fine right there. Did it come back to us? Okay, left turn out of here. Should be no traffic on this road. Coming from the right or the left. And there isn't. Watch out with that crate in the road though. Dang, dude. <laughs> you see that? They had a crate in the road. Right. 
Yeah, keep right. We have the roundabout we have again. I keep getting the same skybox lately. Seems like every single time I get this skybox, that car just completely disappeared in front of us. You, you saw that, right? All right. This is starting to get busy now. Look at, see the difference in the day now. We have to deal with traffic. And getting in this roundabout and out of it's gonna be fun. Oh, nice. Nice looking police car there. Ooh, I love that. That blazer's nice too. Here we go. Right after you, we're good to go. keep left don't worry then we're going to exit the roundabout you get in the right lane and there's a car there but not after we're good after him there's my little mirror there there we go in the right lane drag this thing all the way across Ooh, that looks like a nasty storm out that way like I said it wasn't supposed to rain I wasn't expecting any rain Another right turn here. We'll get back on the on the highway. Back on the interstate we go. Look at how beautiful that truck is. Looking real good. All right, back in the inside view before we kill ourselves. It's not near as bad. We get a little bit of stutter here and there, but it's a diverging diamond. But nothing like we had before, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. Some railroad tracks up here. What are you doing? I was like, are you really going to go, dude? I don't think so. We got an alligator there on the side of the road. Yeah, and sometimes I've noticed with the uh, SIPS traffic control, there's a little bit of a memory issue. Sometimes you'll start losing a bunch of frames. And if you do, you can just reload the traffic. And uh, it usually takes care of the problem. Just by saving the game and reloading it, you know? Because there gets so many cars in memory. I think that's what causes it. So I might do that, actually. If the frames don't get better when we get out of this town of Grand Junction. Yeah, it's starting to lose frames for sure. You can tell. But it's an easy fix. All right, I went ahead and fixed the uh, issue that we had there. And that's all you have to do sometimes with sips traffic mod just go in and save the game and reload it and you're you're back to uh you know beautiful frames again but it seems to happen around the hour mark when you have that much traffic loaded into memory for about an hour that's the only time i ever really see it you know creep up to be a problem okay we make a right turn at the end of this road nobody's coming so I have to watch our right side here, though. There we go. 20 through here, man. Burger King. This is a tight little spot. I'm trying to think of the last time I was in Grand Junction, but if this is where I think we're at, we're going to see... Like the, all the antlers together or something. Right. I think that's and what. Turn 
is one of the things we see around here, but I could be wrong about it. That's weird. Those things just in the middle of the road are like that. Okay, right turn here, good. And we're just stay in this lane. You know the right one's gonna end anyway. It's almost a guarantee. Forty-five through here. Beautiful. Got a river coming down right through there. Not bad at all. Yeah, we go back into the town a little bit here. Yeah, but they just wanted to stay straight. And uh, I'm pretty sure this right lane's gonna end. So we don't even need to get over there. It's kind of useless. Whoa, what happened to him? Oh, they just got in a crash. Dang, dude. Mercedes driver was not waiting. Nope, it turns into a two-lane highway, I guess. Can I get over, buddy? Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, let's get our windows rolled back up. And this engine, it seems to like eight low pretty good, but you can just pop it into eight high on when it's flat. And that's Montrose straight ahead. Not sure what side of the road we're gonna be dropping at is, but it looks like it's the left, okay. I see you car, do you see me? You're just gonna hit the brakes, aren't you? What a jerk. Yeah. That's okay. Now he needs to go right. He needs to go. And we're going where we need to go. Well, we didn't. Since they hit the brakes like right at the time we needed to. Oh, there's another love right there. Just gonna go right on around him. Not technically legal to do. Right there with the solid yellow line. But we want to be able to make this light. I'm gonna be just far enough back from it to see it. Yeah, you see the traffic's already starting to get crazy because it gets into those those whole cycles of uh, rush hour traffic in the evening. So you get more traffic in the morning, more traffic in the evening to uh, you know, replicate that. And then it's nice during the day. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go into first gear. What am I doing? I mean, you can end up skipping the first few gears. Everybody's there, so we can kind of cut that one closer. I'm fine with it. I mean, we can go straight up into right here, up into seven low, and chug it. Left turn here. The Peterbilt dealership there. That's cool. Yep, we're going to that. Rusty, Russell, whatever the heck that is who needs this reservoir tank is it a farm it might be a farm actually I mean that would make more sense I don't need to roll our windows back down just enjoy the the breeze it's down at the end of the road on the left So yeah, if y'all are having the same problems I was with those massive stutters before, just, uh, I mean, you're still gonna get them in the cities once in a great while, but outside of that, man, it really was the, uh, it was the, the V-Sync. 
This game only likes 60 frames per second for whatever reason. All right, slow way down here. Oh man, that's a culvert on each side too. Oh y'all, this is gonna be something. Let's just protect our lane here from the ones behind us. Yep, rustic. Oh man, yeah, we gotta turn in here and then we got a blind hill of traffic. Unless it's a W900, it's gonna block the traffic for us. Please don't. Oh, another one's coming. Dude, see how fast they pop over that hill? It's nuts. It's actually crazy. We're gonna have traffic backed up for miles. Oh, he's gonna let us go, isn't he? Thought about it. You thought about it, but you don't want to now. That's okay. I don't want your help anyway. Yeah, dude, look how tight this is. Let's get out of here before our car comes. Again, it's got a ditch on each side of it. Doesn't make it easier. And this would be just enough. Yeah, that was just enough to get through. All right. Where do they want this thing at? Over here on the right? I have my motion platform V3 from Next Level Racing. That's what you're seeing. Move me around in my seat. So whenever I hit the brakes, I always feel that force of the brakes, which is really cool. Um, I have, don't think I've ever dropped here before either. Where do you want this thing at, man? Oh, right there. Oh, this should be, oh, it's a blind back. It's a blind. Or maybe not, maybe it's on the other side. Yeah, it's not here. It's up and over on the other side. Oh, weird, man. Oh, is it into that little gate area right there? So we have to blind around these logs in back? What is this? That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Look at this nonsense. Wow. Okay. We're here for uh, for the party. This is actually not going to be that cool. To tell you the truth. But well, we're going to have to use good old goal. Get out and look a few times. Make sure we don't get in, in any trouble. So I'm going to start off by going 90 degrees back on this thing. About right there. And then maybe come back with it right here. Actually, no, let's get out and look. Our first one. So yeah, I think we have it on our first one. If we follow it back, but we might run out of room on the left side of the truck. And we're gonna try to get this trailer turning a lot earlier around the corner. We have to kind of like, I don't know. So we gotta point it in the right direction now. I wanna point the back of the trailer towards the opening. Like this, you know what I mean? This way, we're not gonna be out of shape and find ourselves in that spot because see, they put that wall right there with the, those wood chips. That's the challenge of the back they did. We might have enough room on it now. But we can't go to the left anymore. That's the issue. We see we, we're clear up there, but we need to get out and look. So what I'm noticing here is we're going to run out of room on the left side very quickly. Even if we come straight back, we will. So we need to somehow get the trailer more to the right, and it's got to just hug these logs. All right. So now we need to bring the trailer to the right by a lot. The most we can get the trailer over to the right. But we run out of room right here really fast. So what I'm going to try to do is pull the trailer over to the right or cut it enough early on to get it more to the right instead of just being next to that wall. You know, like kind of like this. Like really cut it out this way. There we go. It's tricky. It's not what you think it would normally be, but we have to get the trailer all the way over 
Otherwise, we run out of room with the actual truck on the left side. And we're going to get out and look here. I don't know how close we are to those logs. All right, straight back, we'll be uh, we'll hit the logs, but we can just kind of finagle it around the corner here, you know, because that's where we're going. Oh, boy, this one is a bit of a cluster, we'll say. Let's bring it over this way a little bit more. This is in a better spot, though. This is a better idea than last time. Let's keep it coming that way and then this way. Because now we're away from that. We gave ourselves so much more room. Oh, that log is right there. We have to clear that stupid log first. Well, that's not too bad. Let's just go this way. Get the trailer going that way. Now cut it completely. And we're starting to lose our brakes. Figured that was going to happen at least once. Because this is a joke of a drop. Yep, see right there. Let's see how close we are to that log. And that's why you get out and look right there. Look how close that is to these things. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna get it around there just right. All right, so now let's bring the whole truck over this way. We cleared those stupid things. Now to clear the truck on the logs too. <laughs> I'm wondering if that's gonna be enough right there. Let's have a look there. So now we've cleared the logs no problem and we have to clear the truck too, but the problem is we're way to the left. And we got this trailer right here we got to keep an eye on. So we just need to cut it over as soon as we get the nose cleared. Yeah, this shouldn't be so bad. I got plenty of room on this side. Get the, actually, you know what? I'm going to get that trailer over a little bit more by doing this right here. Yeah, we know. We're running out of brakes. What, the, what else is new? All right, there. There we go. We can just get the nose clear here. We're going to be in good shape. Let's make sure we're not going to hit that trailer back there. And we're clear of the trailer, no problem. So we just have to clear the nose of the truck and we're we're in there, just like that. All right, our brakes are at 95. I'm gonna get them 100 and then we'll uh, continue on back. Just a little bit more than that. And there we go, that's good. All right, let's get this thing in here now. We got it. We got it now. Let's bring it over that way. Yeah, we're gonna clear that side, no problem. Now we can pull up the trailer to the left. Now we're in, now we're in there. There we go, right there. Now we can see that trailer where it's going. We'll get it turned. About right there is perfect. Bring the truck back. It just took patience. It's one thing I have learned in America Truck Sim with uh, backing trailers in, in general is you never get frustrated. When you get frustrated, you start making stupid mistakes and make things worse. So it's all about just being calm and really kind of just planning it out, you know? And that's what we did. We knew it was, it was a messed up drop, but we planned it out. We got out and looked quite a few times to make sure we didn't hit anything we're, and we were good. There we go, straight back from there and we get the green. Should. Come on. There we go, beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And we made it here by 6.05, can't complain at all. Turn our beacon light off. And let's see what we got. We got an excellent reservoir tank from Provo to Montrose today. 281 miles, 8 hours, 35 minutes. Took 49 gallons of fuel total to get it done. But there you go. We got it done. King of the road. How about it? Anywho, that'll do it for this episode of America Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.